I've shown you all the possibilities you could have. So now you should be holding a fully solved 3x3 Rubik's here. Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we will be explaining how to do this 3x3 Rubik's Cube. When you start doing the Rubik's Cube, you have to know the basics of this cube. What I mean by the basics, you have to know the structure, notations and each type of pieces. First, let's know the structure. The structure is that the opposite of white is always yellow. The opposite of green is always blue and the opposite of red is always orange. After you know this, you need to know each type of piece. There is centerpiece, corner piece and edge piece. Center piece so does not do anything so we can skip that. The corner piece can move on every corner. For example, it can go to this corner, this corner and even this corner and even to the original position. The edge piece also does the same thing. It can move in every single edge position. For example, this edge could go here and this edge could go here. So these would go to the, their original position. Now we can we should learn the notations. Notations are the symbols that we use in algorithms. When you put the right side of the cube clockwise, it is called R, and when you put it anti-clockwise, it is called R prime. When you put the left side of the cube clockwise, it is called L, and when you put it anti-clockwise, it is called L prime. When you put the top of the cube which is called up, when you put it clockwise it is called U and when you put it anti-clockwise it is called U prime. When you put down of the cube to, to clockwise it is called D and when you put it anti-clockwise it is called D prime. When you put the front of the cube clockwise it is called F and when you put it anti-clockwise it is called F prime. When you put the back of the cube clockwise it is called B and when you put it anti-clockwise it is called B prime okay so now that you have learned all the basics like the structure of the cube and how each piece moves we can move on by solving the first layer how we are going to solve the first layer is by first making the white cross so let us now do that we have a piece here so we can put that up here and we have another piece here but if we put it here it is going to block this so we can turn it around and then put it up we have another piece here we can turn this put it up and we have a piece here which we can put here spin this and put here now you have made your white cross so after you do this we have to make it so that the color of the edge is matching with the center piece of the side face so so we have to spin around and look for at least two that are matching. So these two are matching. So now we don't need to worry about these two. We just need to worry about these two. So to flip these, there's an algorithm which is R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. So after you've done that, your, these two colors should have flipped and all of your colors should be matching. So now that you've done that, we can actually put the corner pieces into their correct positions. So, so how we do this is by finding one white corner piece. So we can look at this one. The colors are white, blue and red. So we know that we have to put this one here because it is white, blue and red. So we have to put it underneath where we want to put it so this is underneath so this is correct and we have to do the algorithm d prime r prime d r as many times as we need so that we can put in the corner in its correct orientation so the, it took me three times so after you we do that we can move on to the other corners so this one's color is white green and orange so we have to put it here so we can do the algorithm d prime r prime d r and as many times as possible to put this in 
so this took me like four times so now we can put this one in and the algorithm again is d prime r prime d r and now after you've done that your first layer should be solved so now that you have solved your first layer you will be seeing small t's on each side you'll be seeing a green t a red t a blue t and an orange t so how we solve the second layer is by changing two edge pieces so there's a right hand side edge piece and a left hand side edge piece to do the right hand side edge piece we will be using the right hand side algorithm and to do the left hand, left hand side edge piece we will be using the left hand side algorithm so let's do the right hand side edge piece first before you do this algorithm we have to find an edge piece in the third layer that contains a color of orange and green so there we found it so the top color is orange so we put it in the orange and we do the algorithm d prime r prime g r and then we turn it to the left d l d prime l prime after we do that algorithm your piece should have been switched from the third layer to second layer now let's do the left hand side algorithm before we do this algorithm, we have to find an edge piece from the third layer that contains the color of orange and blue. So, let's look for it. There. This color it has orange and blue. So, you can put the orange down here, down on the orange center piece and do this algorithm, which is D, L, D prime, L prime, turn it to the right, D prime, R prime, D, R. So now after you do that algorithm, your piece should have switched with, to the second layer. So now knowing these two algorithms, you can solve the last two edge, piece, edge pieces and solve your second layer. So now that you have solved your second layer, we can finish the third layer. How we are going to finish the third layer is by first of all making the yellow cross and then putting the third layer corners in their correct position and finally orienting the corners so that they make full third layer. So first of all, there are four ways that you can have your third layer when you first of all start it. You can have a, a yellow dot, you could have an L, you could have a line or you could have a cross. So I'm going to start off with a dot but if you have any of those other options you can still do this algorithm to get up to the cross the algorithm we are going to do is f r u r prime u prime f prime so after you've done that you have gotten an l and then after you've done that you just do the algorithm again f r u r prime u prime f prime and so if you have a line you have to make it from vertical to horizontal and then after you've done that you just do the algorithm again which is f r u r prime u prime f so after you've done that you have made your yellow cross and now we are going to make all these colors match up so we should be looking for some colors at least two colors that match up and these two match up so we can leave, forget about those two and then care about these two and make it the position in a way so that one of the mixed colors face us and then other one faces to the right and then we do this algorithm r u 2 r prime u prime r u prime r prime and after you've done that you just flick the third layer to the side and then you should have these 
colors matched up. Now we can move on to solving the third layer, which is moving these corners until they go to their correct location. What I mean about going to the correct location is that, for example, a, a corner's color is yellow, orange and green. Its surrounding colors must be yellow, orange and green. So now I don't have any colors in their correct corners. So I can just do this algorithm. And the algorithm is L prime U R U prime L U R. And then flick it to the right. So now after I've done this algorithm, I should be getting at least one corner that is in its correct position. And there it is. But if you, you did not get a correct corner, you just have to do this algorithm one more time and you should get one correct corner. So now that I've gotten one correct corner, I have to get all correct corners. So I just have to do the same algorithm. But I have to do it in a way that the correct corner is facing me, but it is on the right hand side of the Rubik's tube. So now that I've put it in this correct position, I just have to do the algorithm again, which is L prime U R U prime L U R and then flick it to the right. So now I should be getting all correct corners, but I didn't. So I just have to do this algorithm again. The algorithm is L prime U R U prime L U R and then flick it to the right again. So now I've done this algorithm again and I have gotten all corners in their correct position. So now, as you can see, this color is yellow, orange, and green. It's sun colors, yellow, orange, and green. This yellow, blue, orange, yellow, blue, orange. And this yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red. And this one is yellow, red, green, and yellow, red, green. So now you can see that all my corner pieces are in their correct locations. Now we can move on solving the third layer, which is making these corners into their right orientation. So there are four possibilities for this. In each possibility, we do the same algorithm. The only thing we have to change is how we place the cube. So these are the four possibilities. You could have something like this, where none of them are oriented properly, you could have only one oriented properly, you could have two oriented properly but they're diagonal from each other and you could also have two oriented properly but they're on the left hand side. So first I'm going to show you the one where none of them are oriented properly. So you just have to do this algorithm from any given side of the cube. The algorithm is R U2 R prime U prime R, U prime, R prime, L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, L. After you do this, you should have one corner piece oriented correctly. But if you do not, you just have to do this algorithm again. Since I do have one corner piece oriented correctly, I will move on to orienting the other corner pieces. So you just have to do the same algorithm, but you have to place it in a way that the correct corner is on the back face, but on the left hand side. So after you do that, you just have to do the same algorithm, which is R U2 R prime U prime R U prime R prime L prime U2 L U L prime U L. So now we come to our next case, which is when we have two corners, but they're opposite of each other. So we just do the same algorithm, but put it in a way, incorrect corner that is facing us is on the right hand side of the cube. And the corner that is facing the back is on the left hand side of the cube. So after you put your cube in that position, you just do the same algorithm, which is R U2 R prime U prime R U prime R prime L U2 L U L prime 
U N. So after you do that algorithm, this concludes to our last possibility that could happen to you. This is when you have two corners that are correct, but they're on the left side of the cube. So you just need to do the same algorithm, but then you have to keep it so that one incorrect corner is facing you, one is facing the back, and they're both on the right hand side. So now we just have to do the algorithm, which is R U2 R prime U prime R U prime R prime L prime U2 L U L prime U L. So now I have shown you all the possibilities you could have. So now you should be holding a fully solved 3 by 3 Rubik's cube. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.